my name is Daniel Gutierrez and I work to help ordinary people develop uh, resilient, rewarding and politically effective uh, organizations and movements. Which theorist or activist has strongly influenced you in your political work? Yeah, um, there's obviously quite a bit. Um, I really like the, the Black Panther Party, um, Fred Hampton. Malcolm X, I think, is also a brilliant. Manuela Sekna, um, who writes about uh, ecology and feminism. Paulo Freire was huge. Rodrigo Nunes. Um, all of them. Pick one. Yeah. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> Anytime someone asks me to, to, to write a speech, I always go back to, to reading speeches from Fred Hampton. Their capacity at, uh, at public speaking was incredible. And beyond that, especially with the Black Panther Party, to think about, they let me realize that all political organization is about um, developing new capacities to care. Everybody in the state of Illinois is going to have to be involved or even around the revolution because we're going to have one. We're going to we're gonna have to do more than talk. We're going to have to do more than listen. We're going to even have to do more than learn. We're going to have to start practicing, and that's very hard. We're going to have to start learning, and you learn through practice. We've got to start making mistakes, and you learn through making mistakes. We got to start getting out there with the people. We all stay right here. We all stay right here. With the people. With the people. Because we love the people. Would you call yourself a radical? Sure. <laughs> Which book would you recommend as a starting point for newcomers in migrant organizing? Alicia Garza recently wrote a book about power and she's one of the co-founders of the Black Lives Matter movement. And um, that is one of the best um, books I've read on organizing and building power in general. And um, I think that that's a perfectly good place to start. In general, Garza underlines the importance of developing trust and community through organizing process. And what organizing is really about is um, having as many one-on-one -on -one conversations with people in order to talk to them about their concerns and the way that they see things. Would you rather like to have allies or comrades? Comrades. And we said that we would work with anybody and form coalition with anybody that has revolution on their mind. Which song or film helps you in a moment where you feel politically powerless? <sighs> Max Roach, Freedom Day. Freedom Day. If you could have been part in one specific historic moment in anti-racist struggles, which one would it be? Oof. That's a good one. Um. Hmm. You're going to cut this, right? Or are you going to make me... <laughs> um. I guess since um, a lot of my politics is also informed just by me asking my dad about his time period. And my dad was born in the post-war, like in, the, in Mexico in the 1950s, but um, he was going to school in the United States just by crossing the border uh, daily and going to school over there. And my mom grew up in the, the U.S., but I would ask them a lot about, uh, about the 60s and the 70s. And there isn't a kind of specific moment, I guess, that, uh, or a specific movement that I wish I could have been a part of, but I guess that general field of possibility that was generated by the, the anti-war movement, the black power movement, the Chicano movement, um, the, the, the feminist movement, I think it would have been really, I would like to have seen, I guess I would like to, to see what that would have been like, um, especially because that, that field of possibility is so different from the field of possibility now. Like, they were building on structures going back from like the, the 40s and the 50s. And right now we're dealing with, uh, we're, we're, I guess we're dealing with uh, uh, coming up in a context of environmental deprivation. Like, we're starting from zero 
like uh, the past 30 years have been defined by a really good um, a really good attempt at uh, killing that kind of popular knowledge of uh, popular struggles that existed in the past and so you know things that may have seemed like common sense back then these are things that we have to learn now Slave no longer, slave no longer, this is freedom.